seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Hey, I sat here yesterday. Ugh, that killed my eyes. Sick lightning. I bet Elamon could cast that. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Psst, Chloe, it's Aiden. You're doing great. <laughs> I want to play her part. Rachel looks way too pleased with herself for getting me into this. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship in every cabin I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried... <laughs> cried, hell is here, and all the devils are here, uh, because hell is here. <sighs> Close enough. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere.
Rachel's definitely waiting for me to do something. Pray, use the vantage of that broken ship to prove the safety of the King's good men. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle in troops. Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. I don't think I can do this for much longer. <laughs> Poor weary spirit, be of cheer. Thy labors I shall sweeten with a gift. What is't thou canst demand? Just send me away on my next errand. Please. Thine eagerness doth merit a reward. I press thee once again. What's thy demand? My liberty. Thy liberty? <laughs> Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habits been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you? Wish you to be free. Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty's forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty Done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was soul that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, Come I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed.
Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard, like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? 
Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now's pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. It was magical. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging out. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought of. You and me driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs and Every night, we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun go down. Ugh, I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about... Um... Is that convincing enough? I could be more convinced. I've got to save something to bribe you with if you change your mind later. I won't change my mind. What if I said let's leave tonight? Uh, really? What is this? a sign so what do you say let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house for you or for me I gotta say my clothes look damn good on you cool let's do it and then we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay That sounds perfect.
You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh... Reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, 
I suppose that's also true. Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. They say all news is local, but damn. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. And I'm holding on to a grand of his money. Rachel and I couldn't be leaving town soon enough. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Something else? Duty calls. <laughs> Wait, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. How many cabinets do you need? Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Mm -hmm. 
solved it. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive? Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Yes, Chloe? Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well, as district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. Yes, Chloe? Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I didn't really read it. Yes, that was apparent in your performance. Ouch. Sick burn, Mrs. Amber. I'm sorry, was that mean? No. I deserve it. So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? 
What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? We've given her everything she could ask for. Yet it seems you're right. Rachel's actions show that something in her has changed. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh. It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to- Light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Nah, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. 
Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. If you ask me, gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. What is this? An interrogation? Am I on trial? Maybe I should turn this table around and start lobbing some brain busters at you. Now, Chloe, there's no need to turn heated during a friendly discussion. Agreed. I'm sure we'd all love for you to enlighten us with some of your own perspectives. Sure. I believe there's always darkness in this world, and it usually comes from the people we thought we could trust. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like this? Talk to you like what? I don't understand. Yeah, Dad. What is Chloe talking about? Nothing. It's her whole... attitude. I bet these microaggressions are real useful for keeping people in line. Convicts, your wife, your daughter... Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <laughs> huh. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard but I need you to trust me. 
think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of her. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother.